Hey everyone, Chin Virtuality here, and we are jumping into a new game, The Elder Scrolls Blades. Uh, this game is in early access, and I was able to sign up for said early access, so I've been playing around with it for a bit, and we'll take a look at a couple things. Go into our town. So we're in our town. Um, I was going to make a video starting off the game and just sort of getting into the starting story bits, but um, didn't work out that way. I uh, got early access and then just had to wait for it to sort of start up. All right, little account creation and we're in. I guess that's how they handle the, um, hopefully the uh, cloud saves. Downloading blades, smooth experience for everyone. We are limiting access during the launch period. No when you can play Blades. Oh, I can't play it? Um, but we've been playing it around with it for about a week and it's been all right so far. Uh, we got a chest ready to go, so let's open her up and see what we got. Uh, you get chests throughout the games and they take some time to open up, unless you want to pay gems to unlock them instantly, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, mostly they're just materials for crafting and we get a steel dagger sometimes you get some equipment in it as well and down to 10 chests so unlock and as you can see at the bottom uh, you can unlock it immediately for some gems uh, I would recommend just letting the timer tick down uh, gems are used for opening chests uh, completing quests quickly um, but what I use them for is up at the top where you get your chest capacity and bag capacity. Uh, you can increase those and I would recommend sort of taking the first increase of 10 slots for 10 gems. Uh, you get gems pretty on pretty early on. Uh, and you also get a town that you get to sort of repair and make your own. Uh, but let's quickly take a look at the character. Uh, you get your character creation, and you can actually pick one of the seven uh, races that you can in like the regular Elder Scrolls games. Uh, so we'll take a look at my stats. Uh, I decided to go with the Imperial race uh, because I just wanted sort of someone who's like short sword and shield. So uh, racial bonus is like five percent damage with long swords, war axes, and maces, which is fine by me uh, and the other racial bonus is 5% uh, health restored uh, when using healing items but yeah pretty cool we got some decent gear haven't really paid any any extra money to do get any extra special items I got the steel dagger but the remarkable steel mace of agility that I'm currently equipped is pretty good on its own uh, and I also unlocked I unlocked this remarkable leather armor, but I don't think it's better than what I have. It's got less stats than what I got, so I'll just keep what I wearing what I got. But yeah, you can get equipment, you get weapons and shields and various bits of armor. I haven't gotten to the point where jewelry is unlocked yet, but that's still more stuff. Uh, then you get potions, healing, stamina, magic, and then various materials. Materials that you'll need for crafting weapons, for building structures around your town, and for making potions. Uh, I'm pretty close to getting my town to level 3, so let's see if we have enough to make another building. Well, let's go right here. And we do have enough for a dwelling. I think that will push us to our town level three. So you know what? Let's... We have enough for a stone house, but let's go with timber. 
and that'll take six hours to do and again you could probably spend gems to finish that off quickly but uh, we're in no hurry so um, you can also build stuff like I got the smith smithy here you can repair equipment because they come with Uh, conditions that will sort of tick down the more you use them. I uh, don't think there's anything I need to do here or want to do here. Let's break down this leather armor. We don't need it. You can either silver gold or salvage it for equipment. So let's just salvage. Seven leather and three pelt. Nice. So yeah, you can slowly rebuild your town because as you start the game, the town is sort of decimated and you have to sort of get it back to the way you want it to. I uh, also have my alchemy lab here, but and then you can decorate it with various things you collect for doing quests and missions. So I've gone through a little bit of the story elements, but I think for this we'll just sort of hit the abyss and see what's going on. Abyss is a sort of endless dungeon that you can grind to level up your character, get more gold, get more equipment. Uh, we'll start down at floor one and work our way up. I think the most I've gotten to is 12 and it doesn't really take long to get there, but let's go for it. So here we are. Up at the right there it shows you your next reward for clearing out enemies is fire salts times two, so as you kill enemies, that'll sort of fill in, and then once you clear it, you'll get sort of the next reward. Basically, it's more of a timing game than anything, but you just... When you become... when you're entering battle mode, you just sort of press and hold the button until you your attack is charged up, like so. Uh, if you time it correctly, you'll get a, a power attack. So the battling system is, is good, but as you unlock more abilities, it becomes a little bit more strategic. You cast spells, like that fireball. And just keep going further down into the abyss. Oh, skeevers. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, enemies for the first little first floors are going to be quite easy, especially since my character is like level 11 or something like that. There we go. Got another one. Oh, there you go. Get rid of those pesky vermin. And of course you can do story missions. I think your character is... I don't know what exactly the story mission is, but you're a return, returning wanderer to your hometown, which has been laid to waste from various things. So you go on missions to get townsfolk back, get rid of a goblin, and eventually an undead threat. 
just sort of get everything back to the way it was before you left. Uh, also, as the name applies, and get rid of this bandit first. And hold the double swing, that'll fix them. Uh, as the name implies, uh, it's called Blades now. A little rusty on my Elder Scrolls lore, but Blades are sort of like the royal guard that is in service to the Imperial King. Uh, or when Oblivion took place, that Patrick Stewart. Uh, and from the beginning of that game, he didn't last too long, so not looking so good as far as the Blades company is has been uh, has been in the past but you know I will slay my enemies in the name of Patrick Stewart yeah, that's right out of my face lizard man Yep, you get all seven races here. The, uh, Argonian, as this bandit is here. The Khajiit, which is the cat-like people. Uh, dark elves, wood elves, high elves. Orcs. Ow. Finger up to my spell. Little so-and-so. Um, but unlocking abilities... Um, has been quite cool for this. Uh, you get a lot of options laid out to you. I think you can only equip three spells and three agility um, abilities at a time. So it sort of gives you a little bit of a. Oh. Wolfie. Wolfie. Get some health back with that one. Uh, so you get a little bit of a, uh, however you can customize your character. Like I said, I'm just sort of going down the middle of the road, so everything's sort of even, Steven. Uh, I'll just wait for him. There. Ow. There. Just gotta wait for them to jump at you, and then you just... Smack him. Floor six. We got here goblins. Two handed. Boom. Let's just hit the menu quickly because I think. You know, uh, no, I can't get into the jobs listing here. In the jobs listing, you have like challenges, uh, which reset up for so much time. So some of the missions may be, you know, defeat X amount of goblins or perform a three hit combo or whatever. And they give you a little gold for each one, which definitely helps. Fire Goblin. Yeah, we'll smoke this guy up. Got another one up here. So you can see the uh, Battles go fairly quickly. Reach our next floor. A little XP, a little money. What do we got here? More bandits. Like this cat lady. That was just regular attacks. I didn't use any abilities other than the heal myself up. Oh. One and two. The 
find the... Oh, there you are. Got a shield bash here, so let's see if we can use it. Come on. Ow. Some of the abilities need to time a little bit better so that you can negate whatever attack your enemy is doing and then counter. On to the next floor. Got some alien ruins here. I got a little dark elf here. Don't see them all too often. And they're fire resistant too, so. I just take my mace. Taste my steel. Hello. How about a little fire, mercenary? Doing the wrong ability there. Health has been doing pretty good so far, but once I get down to sort of like the later levels, you'll see enemies hit much harder. Uh, did that a little too late. There, that's what's supposed to happen. And we still haven't filled up that fire salt, so you can see how little defeating these enemies actually contribute to it. But time for the next floor. Number nine. Hands getting a little crampy. Smack. More skeevers. Next enemy should unlock that fire salt. Jump. Oh, you know what? <laughs> there we go. Two fire salts. Next one's going to be a wooden chest. go. Any more skeevers or are we going to the next floor? We're going to the next floor. Oh and you see my health is starting to go down as well so I'm gonna have to play the next couple of fights a little a little bit better. Try and get some back there. One and two. There's our next item to get. Put up your shield at the right time, you get them a little bit knocked back, which is helpful if you're casting spells. Because if they interrupt your spell casting, it is a little bit not in your favor. I think the spell just sort of is applied to you as opposed to the enemy. Which is not a good thing when they're hitting hard. I got some skeletons here. Get some health there. Ooh, shield bash 
Okay. up on me. You know what? Yeah, let's use a potion. Get ourselves at least a little bit up. See if we can't unlock. I believe those are copper that we use for buildings. Uh, come on. got a silver chest lined up next, but we are about to hit our next floor 12. We never, I never made it past floor 12, so this is probably where it's going to end horribly for me. Ow. Hit the wrong stone. Yeah, you know, I got some revives, but I'm not going to use them quite yet. I'm saving them up for something I really need, and the Abyss isn't one of them, so we'll just leave it at that. But we did get some some XP and some, some stuff, so you can always run the Abyss over and over again just to get more if you really need. But that was a quick little look at Elder Scrolls Blades. Hopefully you liked what you saw. Uh, if you did, hit me up with a comment. Uh, and we'll see if we can line up some more Blades footage for you. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.